warm welcome to our online service for this Sunday, which is the Sunday after Ascension. As we now change the season in the church's calendar, uh, celebrating the Ascension of Jesus and preparing ourselves uh, for the Pentecost season and the coming of the Holy Spirit into the world and our lives. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all and also with you. Prepare a way for God. Sing the praises of the one who rides upon the clouds. We will exalt God's holy name and be glad in his presence. We will shout for joy and declare all that the Lord has done. God gives the desolate a home. He leads prisoners out of bondage. He richly blesses them. God causes the rain to fall and restores the land. He provides for the needy and delivers those who call upon his name. Blessed be God, whose majesty is over Israel, whose power is in the skies. We praise you this morning for the love which grants us freedom, for the grace which allows us to dwell in peace. We praise you for the sun that shines on our endeavours and the moon and stars at night which remind us of your glory. We thank you for the many good things you have bestowed upon us. Help us, O oh God, in this time of worship and beyond to have a heart that exalts in your grace and goodness lips unafraid to proclaim your praise and minds focused on living according to your glorious and living word. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess him, King of glory now. Tis the Father's pleasure, we should call him Lord, who from the beginning was the mighty. Season to receive a name from the lips of sinners unto whom he came. Faithfully he bore it, spotless to the last, brought it back victorious when from death. Triumphant with its human light Through all ranks of creatures To the central height To the throne of Godhead To the Father's breast Filled it with the glory Of that perfect rest first reading this morning comes from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning until the day when he was taken up to heaven after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them for, for 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will baptise with the Holy Spirit, not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, it is not for you to know the times or periods, that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them, they said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? 
This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel reading today from St John's Gospel chapter 17. After Jesus had spoken these words he looked up to heaven and he said, Father the hour has come glorify your Son so that the Son may glorify you 
since you have given him authority over all people to give eternal life to those you have given to him. And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the one true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. So now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your no name known to those you gave to me from the world. They were yours and you gave them to me. They have kept your word. Now they know that everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me, I have given to them. And you, that they, they believe that you have sent me. I am asking on their behalf, I am not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those you gave to me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in the name that you have given me, so that they may be one, as we are one. This is the Gospel of our risen Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. His majesty unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise. Majesty, kingdom authority flows from his throne unto his own. And the rays, majesty, majesty, worship his majesty, majesty. unto Jesus be all glory. We 
turn to God in prayer. Let us join our prayers with those of our risen Saviour Jesus Christ, seeking the Father's blessing and the gifts of the Spirit, Jesus Christ, the great High Priest, living forever to intercede for us, praying for the Church, your broken body in the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, King of Righteousness, enthroned at the right hand of the Majesty on high, we pray for your world. We pray for those countries where there is war, violence and high crime rates. And we pray that people will be subject to your gentle rule of peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Son of Man, drawing humanity into the life of God, we pray for our brothers and sisters in need, in distress or sorrow. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, pioneer of our salvation, bringing us to glory through your death and resurrection, surround with your saints and angels those who have died, trusting in your promises. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Lord over all things, ascended far above the heavens, filling the universe. We pray for all who receive the gifts that you give, that we may work in your service. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, keep the church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace and bring the whole created order to worship at your feet. For you are alive and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Amen. As Jesus taught us, we pray now our family prayer. Our, our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
Spirit, we now go forth into the world, fulfilling our calling as the people of God and as the body of Christ. Go in peace. May the Spirit of God fill you and use you according to his will. May the word of God direct you and nourish your heart with joy and wisdom. May Christ our Lord dwell in you, that all your actions and words may witness to his grace and his love and so bring eternal praises to God's name, both now and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>